Tell me your secrets. How are you so good? All right, let's review the SK622 gaming keyboard from Cooler Master. We'll break it down into four categories I think are the most important to cover. Switches, functionality, durability, design. All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty. So anyways, let's get down to the nitty gritty. But first, a word from our sponsor. Does life seem bland, boring, and sometimes just without meaning? Do you wish that there was anything you could be doing with your precious time. Well, check out twitch.tv forward slash Buff Bax. He has all the rad games, wild excitement, and some of the best times you can ever have. Twitch.tv forward slash Buff Bax. The switches are TTC low profile mechanical switches. And yes, it took me multiple tries to get that right. Anyways, I chose reds um, because I'm a basic bitch. Honestly, they're fairly quiet and they're, in my opinion, these stabilizers feel like they're pretty well lubed from the factory. They do have just a little bit of scratchiness to them and, and sadly, they're not hot swappable. <laughs> now the keycaps, those are a bit of a bummer. Now I do love that the keycaps actually feel kind of more like a standard profile keycap. However, on the website they say, they say that they're new and improved. So after just a couple months of use, they're already getting smoothing across the top of the, the Waza key and all the other main keys you use for gaming. But now for you ASMR lovers out there. So it is a wired and a Bluetooth keyboard which can be used for Mac and PC. So it has the Windows and the Command key on there, kind of like the Keychron keyboards do. Zero issues there. The only issue I've noticed is that as I use the Bluetooth, I do experience a bit of bleeding from my ears. So for illumination, 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 it has RGB. Very solid battery life on this thing. It uses two 2000 milliamp batteries. And uh, weirdly, I don't know why, but on the website, there's uh, no documentation that says about how long you, you should expect each charge of this thing to last. But in all honesty, I, after a, a few multi-hour sessions with uh, with using just the, the the wireless mode, zero issues of it dying. It, does, it seems like the battery is going to hold up pretty well. So you can at least get at least four or five hours out of there. So wish they would have gone into detail on the website, but you know. Now, if you're not willing to use Cooler Master's terrible, 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 terrible software, you can not control every bit of macros and lighting functions and everything like that on the board itself, uh, just like most keyboards you can do, So, uh, which is a plus, because uh, uh, if you're someone like me that doesn't like to have to download 10,000 different softwares for everything, great. So the aluminum top plate really adds to a solid feel for this board. Uh, it makes it just feel even more like a more premium product. There's very, very minimal deck flex, as you can see right here. But now, as I've already covered, the keycaps are very worrisome right there. I mean, after only two months, already smoothing out across the top, that's that's so bad. I mean, for $110 on a keyboard like this, Cooler Master, come on. You, you, gotta, you gotta throw in better keycaps than that or something. I don't, or throw in a second set so I can swap back and forth. Because the fact that they've already smoothed over and it's low profile switches, so it's gonna be hard to find replacement caps for them, kinda sucks. Now, I gotta hand it to them. This is a nice looking board. Center USB-C port, flip up feet for different typing angles, and the weight, in my opinion, is like perfect. Test your might. It feels solid and I love the finish of the metal on top. Plus, it's a 60% layout, but it has the dedicated arrow keys, which is kind of unusual for a 60% layout. You don't really see that very commonly, so Cooler Master knocked it out of the park with that style of layout they chose. 
Now the RGB is very tasteful. It's got a nice sexy ring that goes around the outside and it shines beautifully off the top of the board. And to switch to Bluetooth, it's just a tiny little switch on the side so it doesn't stick out. It's not intrusive or anything like that. And I, I give them props for aesthetics just all the way around. So as the title suggests, this thing seriously, seriously caught me off guard. I, I expected this thing to just be fine, but I didn't expect to love this thing as much as I did. But now here's the bottom line. And that's the bottom line, what? If you're into modding or doing custom keyboard builds, this is gonna be a hard pass for you. At $110, I, this just probably won't appeal to you by any means. But if you're just wanting a board that's ready to go right out the box from a very trustworthy brand and a reliable brand, I think this is a solid, solid board to go with. So compared to Corsair, HyperX, and Razer's offerings, I think this is the best one in my opinion. Uh, especially with the unique style of the 60% layout they chose and the Bluetooth capabilities. Now hopefully this review helped you out or at least put a new one on your map for you. And as always, I'll have Amazon Associates links down in the description below for you to check it out yourself. And if you guys really want to support the channel in the biggest way possible, I do have a Patreon link down in the description below now. Anyways guys, as always, kiss a PC on the list for me. Stay swole. Peace.